um, even before Henry Ford, people tried to do the flying cars, right? And they received some kind of certification. Here is a traditional car, which looks like a car, drives like a car, parks like a car, was allowed a takeoff, a vertical takeoff. So first time something which is a traditional car and on top of that, an electric car was allowed by U.S. government through FAA, a vertical takeoff for the limited purposes. But that means that um, flying cars in the traditional sense are now recognized, at least by one government. So we received a limited certification. It's very limited by uh, location where we can fly and very limited by purposes on which we can fly. I'm on one hand being vague on purpose. On the other hand, I want to be clear that nobody's going to fly over London anytime soon. That's not going to happen, right? It's very limited, uh, very safe locations and very limited purposes for which we can fly. So think about the car on the ground, it goes up, and then your uh, passenger side becomes the bottom wing, and the driver side becomes the top wing, and it turns like this. Now you're reutilizing the whole, every inch of your car as the wing. And I have a very efficient flight. We're preparing it right now. Um, we're actually planning a public media demo pretty soon, where we'd actually display how it works and everything like that. But before we had official um, certification, the special awards and certification from FA, we could not do exhibition or videos in the places which we need to present it the way we want it to the public. There's going to be places where you're allowed to take off and the places where you're not going to be allowed to take off. Let's say like a whitelisted areas and a blacklisted areas, which will make sense. I think over time, those areas will shrink, um, expand or contract, right? But this is, I think, how it's going to, it's going to work. the design itself has so many uh, safety components. We're trying to make it safer than any helicopter or airplane which is flying today. Safer. And in some cases, even in uh, some cars on the ground. This is why I think this is things we're doing right and we continue doing it right.